guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm introducing my very first project pan project this project is called drop 10 by summer and I know some people are taking this to either mean like drop 10 pounds or drop 10 products I will mainly be focusing on just the 10 products I found this project through Julie at Nobody's Beauty Guru, which I will link down below, but the original creators of the project are Amanda from Makeup Junkie 80, Jessica of Jessica Lee 3, and Jaina of 20 Something Messes. So I will link all of those people down below. Thank you so much for starting this tag. I know that this is a big collaboration with a bunch of different Instagrammers and YouTubers. I will try to link as many down below. I wasn't exactly like a part of the original like tag or group. But I've been looking for like a project to join in on and really just like start with and I feel like this is a great one to start with. You can pick 10 products, they don't really have to be all makeup, they can be you know skincare or fragrance and you have until the summer to finish them so it is kind of a longer time frame. So I have my 10 products right here, one of them is a fragrance, the rest is makeup and a lot of these products are ones that I know don't necessarily work well for me in the summer and in the fall so I would like to go ahead and use them up now towards the tail end of winter and the spring. So before I go ahead and jump into my 10 products don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and you want to see any more product pans in the future and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video so let's go ahead and jump into my 10 products so I have my 10 products right here they're actually in <laughs> I haven't taken off the tag yet I'm a bit lazy so this it's originally like a set of three containers that I haven't opened up yet so I just I'm using them as one right now so my products are mostly makeup I only have one product in here that isn't makeup or primer and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into that one first and that is the Haiku fragrance from Avon. I love this fragrance. They have quite a few different versions of this. There's one of the pink lid, there's one of the blue lid, and then this one of the green lid. This one is more of the like fresh like spring kind of scent. Yeah it smells like like clean sheets, um, like dryer sheets, like it's just a really fresh and light scent. I am almost done with this fragrance and I find that like I struggle the most when I'm like almost done with a fragrance because I keep thinking oh you know I should hold on to it I should spread it out because I don't want to go ahead and run out of it but I have a lot of fragrances I don't need to hold on to these ones so I do want to go ahead and finish that one up before the summer gets here definitely next I have two primers one is the Farsali rose gold elixir and I bought their little mini for like 20 ish dollars I tried this out a few times on its own as a primer and I wasn't really impressed. I didn't see a whole lot of difference. Um, so I am trying to work this into like mixtures with my foundations and primers instead. Um, I have the majority of the bottle left still but I think if I use this every day either mixed in with the foundation or as a primer I can get through it by the summer. The next primer I have is a luminizing primer from Dr. Brandt. I got this in a boxy charm. It's the Luminizer Primer Pores No More Base Lumiere. So it is a luminizing pore blurring primer. I'm not a huge fan of luminizing primers in the summer. I get very, very oily and I go for very matte foundations, very matte primers, matte powders, the works. It's hard, you know, living in an area where it gets incredibly hot, having to walk to work every day, having to commute to work. So I go for very matte during the summer. So I do want to go ahead and get what use I can out of this luminizing primer before the summer since I don't tend to lean towards those. I have two foundations that I want to go ahead and use up before the summer. One is a sample size and one is a full size. The full size that I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in shade 202. Now this is too dark for me right now, now that I'm like in the dead of summer. This is the palest that I'll probably ever be ever. I am going to be mixing it with a white lightener, the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. This is my favorite lightener. I've been using it with all my foundations that are too dark for me right now. I'm not including this in the actual project because I still have the majority of the bottle left and I don't want to go ahead and like focus on using it up since I am using it with a variety of products. 
what I do want to go ahead and focus on is the Pro Glow foundation because I know I'm not going to be reaching for glowy or luminous foundations in the summer since I tend to get very oily. I also have this in shade 101 which is actually too light for me right now. So I'm going to focus on using up 202 with the lightener and see how much I can get done by the summer. The other foundation that I have is from Dior. It's a sample of the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Foundation, and this is in the shade 20. The actual bottle itself is about this big. It's a little tiny. I got it from Sephora as one of their like little samples whenever you place an online order. I do have an entire drawer in my collection dedicated to samples and like trial sizes of products that I have not tried yet. So I really wanna do work my way through those. And the first step for me, I'm gonna try to use all of the foundation samples that I have, beginning with this one from Dior. I'm not sure if I would ever pick up a full size considering the fact that I have an entire drawer of foundations that I actually like and the fact that this foundation is most likely really, really expensive. But since I have the sample, I do want to try it out, see how it works with my skin and, you know, learn a little bit more about my preferences. The next product that I want to use up by the summer is the MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And this one I've actually made a good deal of progress in. I feel like I'm about to hit the bottom of the pan any day now. I've been using this practically daily for the past couple of months. Just recently I did begin using the paint pot in soft ochre again because the, with the looks that I was going for with my eyeshadow the undertones of soft ochre worked better with those but since I am so close to finishing this one and I do want to begin trying to back to max some products that I do have I have like three empty fix plus containers so I do want to try to back to max some things so I would like to go ahead and get this one out of my collection used up done by the summer. I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer right here, and I have the shade Light Pale. This is the best shade for me right now. As you can see from the bottle, I am at the bottom, more than halfway done with it. I do want to go ahead and finish this up before the summer. I like this concealer not only under my eyes, but to spot conceal since it is fairly close to my natural skin color. So I tend to use it more for spot concealing than for under my eyes. If I use it under my eyes, I like to mix it with a lighter foundation just to add a little bit more coverage and brightening to the skin. Since I'm so close to being done with this, I think this is probably one of, if not the first products that I'll finish up in this project. Moving on, I have the Wet n Wild Ulta Brow Highlighter, which is just a like eyeliner highlighter stick. It is a like a really light pink nude kind of shade. It's meant to be used as a highlighter under the brow, but I like to use it as an inner lower waterline liner. This really brightens the eyes. The light pink, the light pink shade really brightens everything up, makes you look a lot more awake, makes you makes you just look more alive, especially in the mornings when you're waking up really early and you're heading straight into work. So I am, I did sharpen this already about two times. My goal for the project, I don't think I can use this up because I believe it goes all the way down, but my goal is to get it at least half the length that it is right now. So if I can half it by the time that this project ends, I will be satisfied with this project. My last two products are lip products. So I first have a lippy pencil from ColourPop and this is the shade BFF. It is looking really messy right now. I've sharpened it a few times. It looks a little dull. Sometimes if I shake it out too much, the actual like product will drop out. Not a huge fan of that. I just push it back in and it kind of falls back in. Um, but it is a really good nude color for lip liner. It's a great everyday shade. I have the same goal with this one as I do with the eyeliner. I want to at least half it by the time this project is done. If I can go ahead and finish it up, I would be more than happy. I'm really not sure how far the project, the product actually goes down. So we'll have to see throughout the course of this project. And the last product that I have is a sample size of a lipstick that I got from Tom Ford. It's in the shade Indian Rose. It's this adorable little packaging and the shade is absolutely stunning. That's all that I have left in the product. Let me go ahead and swatch the shade. 
It's a beautiful light pink nude. It's a little dark compared to the lip liner that I've picked, but I believe if I use the liner to fill in the outer parts of my lip, not just the actual line, that I can use this to fill in the inner portion and make like a nice ombre effect. I love the wear time of this Tom Ford lipstick and the color is one of my favorite nudes of all time. I've looked into buying the full size, but considering that they're $54 for one lipstick, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. But you know, one of the things that would convince me to actually get it would be to use the entire sample size and enjoy it the whole way. So my goal is to finish up this entire lipstick and have it help me decide whether or not I want to invest in a full size Tom Ford lipstick. So those are my 10 products for my Drop 10 by Summer project. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for this new project and you want to see all the updates that are coming up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Let me know down below if you're also participating in this project. I would love to follow along with your project and your results. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.